To apportion the Congress for Alabama using the Hill-Huntington method, I must first calculate a geometric mean. The geometric mean is equal to the square root of the standard quota rounded down times the standard quota rounded up to zero places. You can see the formula up in the formula bar. I will then drag the geometric mean all the way down the page. Must then calculate the rounded quota. The rounded quota is an if statement. If the standard quota is less than the geometric mean, then we will round down. Otherwise, we will round up. drag this all the way down the page. And I will sum this column and see that I have four too many seats given away, so I have to take away seats. To do this, I'm going to use a modified divisor. Modified divisor is equal to the population divided by open parentheses the square root of open parentheses the rounded quota times the rounded quota minus 1. If I had too few seats, this would be plus 1 instead of minus 1. I'll close all my parentheses and hit enter. You can see once again in the formula bar what this modified divisor is. I'll then drag this all the way down the page. see all of these modified divisors are greater than the standard divisor. So now I'm going to sort by modified divisor. Go to data, sort. I want the modified divisor and I want it ascending. Now this is the one that is closest to the standard divisor which is 8928.712. So I will create a modified divisor 2. Modified divisor 2 is equal to population divided by open parentheses square root rounded quota minus 1 times the rounded quota minus 2. Let's go back and insert a parenthesis there and one at the end. parentheses at the end. And you can see the formula up in the formula bar now. Now I had four seats to take away. 
So one at a time I will drag these and give it to the one closest to the standard divisor. That's three. That's four. So now I've taken away all the seats. I will do my final apportionment. The final apportionment is equal to the rounded quota minus the count from your modified divisor to until your last modified divisor. I'll drag this all the way down. I will then sum this column. Note that if I'd had too few seats, the formula would have been F2 plus the count from H2 to I2. The final thing I have to do is sort this back in alphabetical order. Data, sort, by column A, ascending. And I have it back in alphabetical order now, and I'm finished.